hello everyone in this video we will see what is the meaning of abstraction so abstraction this is actually a hiding complex information let's take a simple example when you learned driving a car so in beginning you just uh, want to know uh, and the person also will tell you only this information that this is the accelerator this is the brake and uh, this is the clutch he's not going to tell you when you press clutch what will actually happen and you are also not interested to know these background details so that uh, trainer actually providing you detail which is required by you to learn how to drive a car so same thing same concept actually implemented actually used in this object oriented programming concept so in order to demonstrate how this abstraction is helpful let's create a class class game so let's uh, assume we are having a class game and this class in this class we are having some data member uh, let's say we are creating a car game so we have made some we have declared some data member I'm not going to write entire code here and let's assume we are having some function like start game uh, there is some code written in this function let's say this is a function of 10,000 lines and then we are having stop games let's say we are having a one more function void draw car this function actually helpful to draw a car on screen so let's say uh, you have developed a game and in this game you have defined some functions and there are some data members as well variable according to your requirement now if some uh, someone else some other programmer wants to use your class to embed uh, your game in some other project so what you will tell them you will tell them that okay there is a class you will tell them these information you will tell them that my class name is game there is a function like start game when you call this function it will start the game you will tell them okay there is one more function stop game whenever you want to stop the game call this function so calling of this function will stop the game and let's say we are having draw card when you want to draw a card on a screen we will call draw card So the thing is that you are providing only these information to that person. You are providing okay what is the name of your class, what uh, what are the functions available in your class, and what are their usage, uh, how to use them, and uh, what's their purpose. You are not going to tell them what code you have written inside this function, and that person also not interested to know that detail. He is only interested to know when he will call this function, what will happen. How many functions are there and what are their purposes so we are providing only information which is uh, needed by that program in order to embed this class in his project so abstraction providing only essential information like we are not providing here code of our function if let's say these functions are very few like 10,000 this is top game also 20,000 draw a card this is a code of let's say one lakh line. So we are not going to show our code to other people. We are not going to explain that code to other people. Because understanding someone else's code is very hard thing. Right? So that's why we will tell them these are the function. When we call this function, this thing will be done. And that person also want to know only this detail. So this concept is known as abstraction. Thank you very much for watching.